Hey folks, today we're remembering researcher Michael Green, who passed away last week, and his contribution to the Bigfoot field. Amongst Green's credentials, he was a United States Army tank commander, chief welfare fraud investigator for the state of New Jersey, and forgery expert. His contribution would come to be what would be known as the squeaky thermal video, as a large humanoid figure is observed removing a candy bar from a tree stump that was baited. The video occurred on April 28, 2009 in the Uwari National Forest in Montgomery County, North Carolina. The Uwari National Forest is approximately 78 and a half square miles of forest. The weather conditions at the time was approximately 67 to 69 degrees with about 58% humidity with a 7 mile per hour wind speed. Sunset that day was at 8.05 p.m. and the moon phase was a waxing crescent. The equipment to use to take the video was a Raython Palm IR250 thermal imager, which was attached to an Aeptec MPVR 2K6 recorder. What was caught that night was compelling, as the figure in the thermal video was consistently a solid color indicating heat and appears to have no layering to it, which would have been indicative of a costume. Not to mention, there is a story behind this video. Here is a video. Take a listen also to Mike Green's narration. I had a tripod, so I put the thermal on a tripod, pointed it down there, uh, got in the car, and drove away. Stayed, drove a quarter of a mile away and stayed for a couple of hours, which is about the length of the battery on the thermal anyway. Came back, the uh, Zagnut bar that was on the stump was gone, and uh, the battery was dead. So I didn't review the tape until the next morning when I got home, and uh, there it was. And what you see here is a uniformly colored unsub coming into the frame. The dark patches you see are actually artifact from branches and shrubs that are between the thermal imager and the unsub. Half an hour after I left, she comes creeping out of the woods and sort of low crawls up behind the stump, reaches up, grabs the candy bar, low crawls back, disappears into the woods. The idea that a Sasquatch may crawl to grab bait, if you will, is not a new one. The alleged body cast taken in Skookum Meadows in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest, Washington State, on September 22, 2000, allegedly maneuvered in the same fashion. Then he seems to gain some confidence because he comes back into the frame standing up from, from right to left. And you can see him from mid-calf up. It's hard to tell there, unfortunately, where this is taken. The, the land drops away, away from the viewer. So it, it appears to be flat, but it's not. And when he comes on the frame, he's downhill enough so that to varying degrees, the lower part of his body is completely hidden. I'd also like to make a quick note here that if you notice the unsub or the Sasquatch in the video is making a swaying motion by the tree, and that is very commonly reported. I know what I saw. Of course, I don't blame them for thinking I'm crazy. It's like seeing an angel or something. You, you really have to see it for yourself. And no matter how many times I look you right in the eye and say, I saw a Bigfoot, you're going to go, yeah, right. In my opinion, what we see here is compelling and should be viewed by fellow researchers with some optimism. Unfortunately, the video on its own is subjective and would never be considered as evidence by science. The unsub recorded here shows no signs of layering indicative of a human wearing clothing or even more dubious a costume. 
The actions of the unsub in the video is unique and seems consistent with the theory of how the Skookum cast was obtained in other eyewitness accounts. Today, with the advent of DNA, if something similar were to happen, I would lock that area down to obtain hair, presence of sign, and any biological matter for DNA study. Imagine getting some bits of that Zagnet bar on the ground after the unsub possibly chomped on it. Luckily, thermal technology has advanced over the years, as has DNA since 2009. And the big question is, who's going to get the next best thermal video? Till next time, folks. This is your pal, the Squatch Detective, Steve Coles. We'll catch you all Sunday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern on Squatch DTV. Hey folks, I want you to consider joining the channel as a member. It's a great way to support great big research and an honest channel out there. And it starts at only 99 cents. And already we've announced the two new shows we're putting on there. Plus you're going to get a lot more and you're going to see me uncensored as well. So anyway, folks, consider it. Think about it. We have three levels. The highest level is only $4 a month to become a channel sponsor. So a lot of great perks. Check it out. We'll catch you all later.